Hi there, welcome to the X-Files game. Yes, I thought I'd go back and check this one out. I never played it back in the day and I'm a bit confused whether this is the Windows version and I know there was one on PS1 and PS2 but did they come up with two games? I don't know. Anyway, this came out around 1998 on seven CDs so it's like a point and click interactive movie. Uh, yeah, with, with season 11 coming up um, I'm stoked to have a look at this, here we go. Why, Agent Wilmore? Why, Agent Cook? You picked a great day to be late. There's some big gun in from DC. I don't know what's up, but it looks serious. Agent Cook, are you being funny? Yeah, he's probably here to make sure we're not stealing paper clips. <laughs> Such a wit. Alright, so we've got this crappy Nokia phone. And you state, have mail. state of the arts pad. Glenn Albert, who the hell's this? Hey man, how's it hanging? Great to see you last week. It's been way too long. Glad you enjoyed the game. But I'm sorry you were too much of a wuss to play. And just for the record, it's one tooth and two concussions. Not the other way around. And my pearly whites look better than ever, which is more than I can say for you. Guess it's lucky you're not a smoker, eh? Ha <laughs> ha. Thanks, Jim. Give blood play rugby, yeah. Craig, it looks like we finally got a break on the pull tab counterfeiters. We should talk later, but Shanks expects us to have the case wrapped up in a few days. Just thought you'd like a heads up. Thank you, Mark. Craig, what does the FBI do with its case files once the cases have been resolved? Uh, archives, I would think. I'd love to get hold of one or two. I've got an idea for a book, but it would involve some FBI cases and I'd like to build it from real life. Let me know if you think you can help out, and no hard feelings if you can't get me anything. Okay, well, we'll get back to you. So, here we are, inside the Federal Bureau of Investigation. This is my friend Cook. Hey, partner, how's it going? It's all good. And, uh, what's this? Ooh, I say. So Mitch is in it. Got a few cast members. So we, I don't actually know who's going to turn up in this. So uh, should be interesting to see. Let's grab all this stuff. It's all going to be useful, isn't it? Hey, I left one. Damn. Do not want to get stuck. All right. What's this? Come back later, please. Okay. So I guess I should go to my office. There it is. Notic screensaver. I haven't got password yet. Yeah, go away. I want to answer the phone, yeah? Wilmore. Agent Wilmore, I want to see you in my office. So you're not busy now, are you? Yeah, some people. What's this I've got in here? Files? Ah. My case files. That's what they look like, huh? Not much progress on those, are there? Oh my god, have you seen these little multimedia speakers on that desk? Right. Where was he? Oh, he's inside here, isn't he?
Come in. This is Assistant Director Skinner. Agent Walmore, sir. Two of my agents are missing, Fox Muller and Dana Scully. I haven't heard from them in three days. I'm extremely concerned. It's not good, is it? Are they romantically Are they romantically involved? I don't know. I don't think so. They didn't elope, did they? Where were they last seen? In my office in DC, right before they left. Hmm. What case were they working on? I'm not quite sure. All I have is this travel requisition which shows that they were going to Everett, Washington. So you're not... These two agents were able to function with a high degree of autonomy due to the nature of the cases they pursued. So it's a sweet deal in the X-Files, isn't it? You can just have a few days off. But if you don't get any results or nothing happens, they would get suspicious, wouldn't they? At seven nights, you just go to Skinner. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've, I've seen Bigfoot, uh, you know, in the, the Hilton in New, downtown Vegas or something. And you just hang out. Right. Did you, you, did you, did you call them? Did you think of calling them? Can I get their cell phone numbers? Uh, you'll find it in the dossier, however, they're not answering. Yeah, I think he'd, he would have thought of that. Have they disappeared before? No, not like this. Okay, so he's dried up. Yeah, should Cook be involved in it? Should Cook be involved in this investigation? Well, it's up to you, really. You know the Bureau's policy on backup? I would suggest you use all available resources. Uh, anything unusual? Do you know of anything unusual in Everett? There's nothing that I'm aware of. And what shall I do with my workload? What should I do with my current cases? Hand them off to Cook. I know he's busy, but this is priority. Sweet. File an APB on Mulder and Scully, then give your current case files to Cook. A.D. Skinner will join you shortly. Okay, don't call me shortly. Right. So, okay. What's happening? What's you can't the, just sit on this. You gotta the, tell me what's happening. God, nothing much. You know, the usual. Missing FBI agents. Who? A pair out of DC, Mulder and Scully. Male and female. Not spooky. Right. Do we have to give him the uh, requisition? Everett. Spent a week there one afternoon. Um, can you... Oh. So how's it going? What case is she working on? Um, pull tab counterfeiters and uh, the militia group still active in the Northern Cascades. I'm going to assist the DEA on a meth lab ring, but I'm um, handling things okay. Very enthusiastic. Will you file an APB on Mulder and Scully for me? Yes. Yes, yes, I will. Shanks, uh, not my idea, but Shanks said you should get my old crappy cases that I can't solve. Shanks wants me to hand my cases off to you. Uh, yeah. Why didn't those agents inform us when they came into town? Good question. Maybe because they were working out of Everett? I don't know. Yeah, they don't cooperate much. Mainly due to ridicule, isn't it? Okay, enjoy. Great. Thanks, golden boy. My pleasure. I suggest we start with the motel where Mulder and Scully are staying. I'll be waiting for you in the car. Right here you are. Well, I don't think... I haven't got a computer. I don't think there's anything else to do. I've checked my email. Let's go.
Can I help you? Who else wears those long coats? Let's have a look around. What's this? Sophia the Gorilla, eh? Oh, there's a local zoo nearby. You sure I can't help you, gentlemen? You give, give, give us a second, will you? We're looking for, yeah, on the two... We're looking for information on two FBI agents who checked in here. Can you show me some identification? Do me. A blue one and a black one and a yellow one and an odd one. Uh, maybe you saw her, ma'am. Your little girl is beautiful. Kathy Whit Thank Whitmore. You. She's three. You put away for that kind of thing. Do we have to? No, Whitmore. Why would you? Would you like a gumball? Kid chokes to death. Thank you, I didn't have a nickel. Uh, okay. Well... Why would they be staying in Everett, not Seattle? Why would they stay in Everett instead of Seattle? I have no idea. Maybe they were being budget-minded. Yeah. Hope there aren't any surprises waiting for us in their rooms. Well, they've surprised me before, but I don't know what you're saying. You just go down the list, don't you, really? They didn't have any enemies, did they? Everyone has enemies, Agent Wilmore. I hope I don't. Why didn't they contact our offices before they began their investigation? Actually, that's one of the questions that I'd like answered. We get enemies after making this video. Right, I can I... No, I know... Can I just like hand that? Where's my ID? She wants my ID, does she? Don't tell me I've got to go back. Oh, you're shitting me. Do I have to go back to get my badge? Uh, crime lab? What the? This is ridiculous. I'll be reviewing my notes in the meeting room. Skinner would kill you for that. You left your badge at home. Why couldn't he use his? Oh, is it in a drawer or something? You've got to be kidding me. Ah, really? Ah! Me gone. And my badge. Oh, for God's sake. That will be my last day on the job. Oh, ridiculous. Why did they let me leave here? Oh, well. Back we go. Who cares about the drive, eh? Right. Try that again. Hello. Didn't you like my badge? What's the matter with you? <laughs> We're looking for information on two FBI agents who checked in here. Mm-hmm. And their names would be? Agents Mulder and Scully. Oh, yeah. They paid for a week in advance. Room three and four. Yes. Did you notice anything unusual about the two agents? Um, the guy was kind of spooky. Other than that, no. Uh, ridiculous. Did anything unusual occur while they were here? Not that I can remember. Mulder isn't spooky. It's the nickname they call him to take the piss out of him. It's not because he looks spooky. Do you have the make and license number of their rental car? Sure, it's on the form, assuming they told the truth. Could you write it down for me, please? They don't walk around in the white, white sheets. Ooh, fresh. Fort Taurus, eh? Would you take us to their rooms, please? Sure, come this way. 
Marquina. Here we go. This is his room. She stays next door. Thank you. I hope there aren't any dead bodies in here. I got finals coming up next week. You can get in and out through here. Did they ask you to unlock those doors? Did they look unlocked? No, they didn't. Thank you. We'll uh, let you know if we need anything else. You know where to find me. Yep. Why don't you start with Mulder's room? I'll take Scully's. Will do. Right. What have we got here? Local paper, is it? I'm not reading that. I know my eyes are bad, but... Knock yourselves out, guys, if you want to go through all of this. So, was it that that they were investigating or was it this what bloody paper is this or oh, the magic bullet oh it's one of them one of them National Enquirer type things not National Enquirer what do they call it one of those strange this has left his cases look So what is a X file when it's a home? Is it a black one or is it a 3X C? Three X, what have they got in here? Majestic cover operation, warehouse and dock railway. Uh, so the Majestic 12. What did that say about the Majestic? Our reliable sources uh, close to Majestic 12 have told us that in the event of sudden massive hostile... hostile uh... Yes, yeah, so that's kind of like... I think this is between... It's around the end of Season 3, isn't it? The X-Files. So they've already got into that plot line about the uh, invasion. Anything else in here? Yeah, Mulder was definitely in here because he likes to eat them or chew on them or whatever. Is that OJ in that vodka? Vodka and orange. It's not like him. I think... Uh... I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. I can't decide if that's good or bad. <laughs> no, Skinner. How long have you known them? Four years now. I've known Mulder longer than that. I guess it's been uh, almost six. Mm. Have you done any other acting jobs? It would be helpful to know what case they were working on. Yes. Yes, it would be helpful. Listen, I'd appreciate it if you didn't uh, refer to them in the past tense. Huh? Right, sha -ah. So... What?! No comments about our police force. Why is there the Keystone Cops on a loop on that telly? Oh, it's a state-of-the-art laptop. Ooh, we've got her laptop. Bible, any significance? Is this what we might need for a password or something? Do we combine it? Oh god, do I have to bloody type it? How do I... Has she marked any of this? Oh, 
That's the whole Bible they put in here, have they? Can you underline something for me? Oh, don't say I have to guess. Okay, I'll come back to that. Do you know what Scully's password is? I don't know. Try faith. Do you know anything that's going on, Skinner, being head of the FBI? This is not going to work, is it? It's too weak. Okay. There's a Bible there, but anything about faith that we can add to or... Well, I don't know. It's back to Moulders, isn't it? Oh, that's the guy, isn't it? Chung, a funny author. I like him. I think he was good fun, wasn't he? Anything else we could look at, apart from the Keystone Cops? Anything else? It didn't work. Any other ideas? I tried Descartes. Other than that, I don't know. Uh, maybe you should get the uh, Seattle PD Computer Crimes Division to uh, see if they can crack it. Okay. Should we check the outgoing calls? That's a good idea. The clerk will probably have a record. So... Should we check the outgoing calls? I just told you. Well, tell me again, Skinner. You read this. I don't want that. Well, you're going to get it. Come on, you crack it. Have it, Skinner. Descartes. <phone rings> ah. So I've locked myself out of Scully's laptop and I think then that we should hit the road. Yeah, let's head to the crime lab. See if we can get this laptop unlocked. Hello. Hey, Mr. Wilmore. Good to see you. It's been a while. Hey, John. How have you been? Bored. I hope you have something real exciting for me. I do my best. So, what have you got? I've got a laptop. A bit of a chit-chat first, eh? You working on anything good? Nope. It's been very slow. I count on you FBI guys to keep my life interesting. How's your wife? Ex, you mean? She's good. She's taking the kids to her mom's for Easter. Yours? My wife? No, your ex-kids. Uh -huh. Yeah, your wife. Good, I guess. We haven't really spoken in a while. It's not going well, is it? Hey, don't you owe me a dollar? <laughs> From what, that basketball game? No way, that crooked partner of yours cheated. Cook? He never cheated a day in his life. Don't hold your breath over that buck. The boys in the crime lab are officially protesting. Guy's name's Crook, not Cook. What about this? I can't drag it. Really? Can't you just, like, move a jumper setting? It's not difficult. Where's JFK's brain? This stuff ain't up here. Oh, breaking neck. What do I do? Uh, apartment? What, mine or hers? Whose apartment?
Not much, but it's home. Look at this. Drab, isn't it? Cliché. <laughs> That was like my first PC. My god, P90 or something. I don't know any passwords for anything. Marching through Georgia. his kids huh? Oh, God. I think I can't do anything. Um. Sweet sweet ride. Going on. Rocking out now. No copyright, must get out of here. What's this? Anyone next door? Neighbours on about. So let's go back. Field office? I think so. Let's check on Cook, see how he's doing. He's cracking my cases, I guess. Yeah, same. I've got the same one. this booze and all well I give up I just give up Skinner I don't believe we're done on the field agent Wilmore no I don't either this Skinner's a loser agent here. Wilmore the prodigal son returns but he's been hitting the booze in there. I could use some help with this case. Okay, let me review your notes. Oh, hint system, really? I bet you missed something at the motel. And, um... You want to get that laptop working? Call the Computer Crimes Division and have somebody take a look at it. rest of it looks pretty good. Wow. There you go. They had a hint system. That's pretty cool. Okay. So where's my phone gone? Oh, there it is. Ah, computer crimes. Cool. Hello? Faster. Pick up. Thank you for calling the Seattle Police Department Computer Crimes Division. We are currently in the process of upgrading our voicemail and phone system. As a result, we are unable to handle your call at the moment. We apologize for any inconvenience. Please try again tomorrow. Tomorrow? Okay, let's, let's call some folk up there. Strange Mrs. Let's find Hi, out. Hi, this is Barbara. 
just bought this machine and I can't do a thing with it. If you have a listed number, I can call you back using call. Yeah, thanks for nothing. Why does everyone take so long to answer? You have reached the automated messaging system of the Seattle FBI field office. Let's wind up Cook. You have reached the automated messaging system of the Seattle FBI field office. Messages for... Ah. Something amiss with this guy. You have reached CECOM voicemail services. Voicemail for John Amos is unavailable at this time. Please try again later. Nobody. No crimes division, nothing. Is it because I'm standing in the wrong bleeding place? I really don't understand. Cute. Cute kid. Elizabeth. John Amos from the crime lab. All right, let's get out of here. Got all the way back. Third time lucky. What now? What now, you cheeky? What's your major? I'm working on a law degree. Can you remember anything that might help us? No, I'm sorry. They checked in and left that evening. I didn't see them after that. Oh, great. That's their registration. them and what's the matter with you I want answers you have mail I've got mail accounting office personal call oh I did oh they are tight aren't they my god 25 cents coming out of my paycheck. Swine. Do you keep a record of outgoing calls? Sure, for billing purposes. Could I get a copy, please? Great. Give me a minute. I want you to know you're putting me behind. Sorry, I don't mean to bother you at work. Funny. Behind your crossword, right. Three and four, okay. What did they, they paid in advance of the room. Washington, D.C. Eight minutes and two minutes there. What do those numbers mean? Search the room, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is good. Scully's laptop. No luck with password. We'll deliver to Computer Crimes Division, which aren't around at the moment. And that's the address. Let's check these phone numbers. Just gonna write them down quick and then pop them into that phone. 206-555. 01 it's always 555 in movies isn't it okay and 202 555 let's see what these are right so 206 555 five, five, 
Zero one eight two. You damn it, who are you? No luck with that one. Let's try the other one. Dial a one when when a. Eh? Well, afterwards or before. Hello? Who is this? Agent Wilmore, FBI. Who are you? I asked you first. Look, I work for the FBI. Uh, sure, okay. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Frohickey. They called Frohickey. Come on, Frohickey, help me out for God's sake. Come on, Frohick, he's just blanking it. Bastard. Yes, I admit it, I got stuck here. I shall show you why. Craig. Will. More. Password S H I L O H from the bulletin board, which I never found. Found. You've got mail. I N G Intelligence Network Gateway, which is what we wanted. So I got stuck there. I mean, it was inconceivable to me that he didn't know he's that my character doesn't know his own password, and you have to work it out. Go figure. This is where you get the password. This is the bulletin board with all the stuff for his kids. And that's the password. Go figure. Obscure much? You have mail. Yeah, I know. What's the mail about? What shanks? Use the ING to trace the local number that Scully and Mulder called. Okay. Let's try the ING. Uh huh. What was it? Two oh six. Five 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 zero one eight two. Dockside Warehouse, sixty two Bell, Seattle. Okay. And what was the Frohickey's? Will this work? He's covering his tracks, Frohiki, isn't he? Unregistered phone number. Ah, me 
media, photo, videos and stuff we can check out. APB on them. We have an address. We have an address. It would be helpful to have some background on the case your agent was pursuing. Wouldn't it? When I have some, I'll share it with you. There he is. Nothing out here, is it? I guess we've got to pick this lock again. I'm going to pretend you're not doing that. Why don't you check out the main floor? I'm going to take a look in there. Will do. <clears throat> yeah, so there was trying to marry video games and TV and movie stuff. And it don't really work, does it? As someone said, and I agree, the, the Sands of Time is, is a very good uh, movie, game to movie crossover. A lot of these things. I mean, if it was more advanced, you might get a kick out of it, isn't it? If they you could talk to the characters and they answered you back, that would be something, wouldn't it? But can you imagine the amount of dialogue they'd have to record? Right, where did they duck to avoid the shots? So I'm trying to find here. Where's my torch? Can I use it? Oh wow, look at this. It's kind of cool. Easily pleased though what I am. Right, well, I'm checking. Like an office, isn't it? Or something. It's a weird, convoluted way of walking in there. Well, I don't quite want to go up and see Skinner yet. The hell have we just picked up? Crowbar, was it? A crowbar we can use on something. I remember my point and click skills as they were. We want to go back downstairs, do we? Is there nothing else in here? Well, this phone is DOA. Why would Mulder and Scully have called this location? I'm not sure, but it's the best lead we've got. Hmm. What is all this? It's like a PC and a monitor and a... Hmm. 
<coughs> Here's where my crowbar comes in. Let's see what they were doing in this warehouse. Toffees. Black oil, no goo, gunpowder, what the hell is it? What is this kit, evidence kit? Can I use that on it? Aha. Let's test, it, test it for gunpowder. Alright, we're finished with that. Spooky. Alright, should we tell Skinner what we found? What did we find? Is there anything in here? What's that? We've got evidence, folks. Skinner, what is it? Take me a day and a half to find Skinner again. Uh, forward and then left. So we're walking around in a square. No. Skinner, where the hell are you? What do you think about that? I don't know, but I suggest you minimize your contact with it until we have it analyzed. Yes, Skinner, I think so. Are we all done here? Where do we head? To Crime Lab? Get that worked up. They've got to come into their own here, surely. Right, get to work, you. What have we here? You're going to have to do better than this. I can tell you right now what this is. It's industrial grade lead. Lead? Yeah. Why lead? I don't know. It's uh, used for anything from weighing scuba divers to lining x-ray vests. Pretty common stuff. Is there any reason why someone would treat this like contraband? Nope. It's neither illegal nor sexy. There's no reason why anybody should want or need to smuggle it anywhere. So, lead. Why lead? Shall I go back? To, does the department finish your day? End of work? Right. Let's go for this vehicle. Six two one five two seven. It's a rental, probably. Five one seven. Sorry, my bad. Six two one five one seven. Yeah. Rented by Fox on that date. 96. So maybe the game came out in 96, not 98. Hmm. I could use some help with this case. Okay. Let me review your notes. I'd go back to the warehouse if I were you. The rest of it looks pretty good. Thank you.
There's something I've missed in here. Thank God for the hint system. I would have thought he'd find some shell casings on the floor, wouldn't you? Who's this guy? Maybe he knows something. Boats? They're shipping their stuff out by a boat, were they? to the car. Let's go down and see if we can talk to this guy. It's just weird. What's your name? Jim. Who's asking? Um, FBI, son. Oh, where's my badge gone? Not the evidence kit. No, not the camera. Oh, I'm gonna take his picture. Agent Wilmore, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. What's your name? James Wong. James Wong. What can you tell me about that warehouse? Not much. It's a warehouse. I don't know. I just dock here. Yeah, they used to haul a lot of cargo in and out of there. Armed guards sometimes. Uh, lately it's been pretty quiet, which ain't too surprising, considering what's been going on around here. And what exactly is that? Fish been drying up. That's some, some bad acting, isn't it? Oh my god. Have you noticed any unusual activity? Not really, just the fact the warehouse has been a lot quieter than usual. A lot quieter than usual? You've been here this last week? Pretty much. You haven't seen or heard anything unusual? No, I try to get home by dusk, see my family. Uh, he looks suspicious to me. What do you think? Tell me about your family. Why? I'm curious. Just want to know about your family, that's all. Okay. Wife, little girl. Pull the gun on him. How old's your daughter? Seven. Young for a man your age. I'm surprised. I eat a lot of fish. Is your wife younger than you? Young enough to have a seven-year-old. How long have you been in this country? My accent give it away, huh? <laughs> Ten, eleven years, maybe. Where are you from, Mr. Wong? China. I left Canton in 1985. So what's happened to the fishing? I don't know, but it's getting bad. Some folks say it's from overfishing. How long has this been going on? Long enough for a lot of guys to move on. Can't make ends meet. I'm thinking about it myself. Does this look familiar to you? No. What is it? Why don't you let me ask the questions? Yes, we will ask the questions. I'd like to see if I can take his picture. Cheese. What's the matter with you? Nothing. I want to run you through our database. There's something wrong about you. Eat the what? The corn. You eat the corn. Lovely part of town, isn't it? Jesus. A load of crap. I don't think we're done processing this location. I don't either. Say cheese, Skinner. What's the matter with you? It's all in good fun. Can't get behind there, can I? Did I get an eye there? What's that? Cancer man. 
He was here during a cleanup, wasn't he? Like that cigarette the rat tried to eat at the beginning, isn't it? 